exceed english grade 4 block number 15 using similes lesson plan for descriptive writing students will be able to write a descriptive paragraph using similes let's read this paragraph my friend and i plan to visit my hometown I took her to one of my favorite places. I showed her a beautiful, freely flowing lake. It has clear water, lots of fish and colorful birds live there. I used to spend hours looking at them as a child. My favorite birds are kingfishers. They are beautiful blue birds. They remind me of the blue sky. They fly very quickly and catch fish. We enjoyed swimming and fishing there. The paragraph describes a place in someone's hometown which has a lake. The lake, the fish, the birds are described in the paragraph. Some adjectives used are flowing, clear, colorful, beautiful and blue. We can use similes to make the paragraph more descriptive. We can use similes to describe freely flowing lake, clear water and kingfishers. We can write the lake flows as freely as a bird. Its water is as clear as crystals. Kingfishers are as blue as the sea and they fly like a flash when they catch fish. Using similes help to make our paragraph more descriptive. We use adjective to describe the things. But similes help us to make the description even more precise, which makes it easier for the reader to create an image in their mind. For example, it flies like a flash help us to imagine how quickly the bird must fly to catch the fish. First, make the paragraph descriptive by using adjectives. Next, think of another thing that can be described by the same adjective. For example, I saw a tree. Make it more descriptive by saying I saw a tall tree. Then think of a, another thing that is tall, like a giraffe. So we can write I saw a tree as tall as a giraffe. Students, open your S4 volume 2 to page number 38. S for descriptive writing. Underline the adjective and circle the noun in the paragraph. Our science teacher gave us a project to gather information on different plants, trees and plants and trees. Circle project plants and trees. My friend and I went to my uncle's farm. Circle friend uncle's farm. He loves gardening and lives on a huge farm on the outskirts of the Town, circle, circle, outskirts and town. He took us through the dense forest beside the farm. Circle, forest and farm and underline dense. We saw many different types of leaves. Circle, types and leaves. And underline different. Some of them were very big, underline big. One of them even looked like an elephant's ear. Circle the elephant's ear even look like an elephant's ear to me circle elephant's ear there were others that were that were very small underlined small even an ant would think them too small for a bed circle the even and bed we saw different colored flowers underline colored and circle flowers in a full bloom they were blue pink yellow and orange one underline blue pink yellow orange if my uncle would have let me circle the uncle i would have made a rainbow circle a rainbow with these flowers circle the flowers thank you ma'am for giving us such an interesting project circle ma'am underline interesting circle project we had great fun doing it I make this paragraph more descriptive by rewriting it with similes that describe at least three of the nouns that you circled. 
Our science teacher gave us an interesting project to gather information different plants and trees. My best friend and I went to my uncle's farm. He loves gardening and lives on a farm on the outskirts of the town. The farm is as huge as a spaceship. He took us to the dense forest where we saw different types of leaves. Some leaves were as big as an elephant's ear and some were too tiny to even be beds for ants. We saw many flowers and plants. The colorful flowers blooming all together looked like a rainbow on the ground. Thank you ma'am for giving us such an interesting project. We had great fun doing it. Give a title to your paragraph, an amazing project. Students, take out your English reader to page number 95, block 15 using similes exercise question. State true or false. The poem describes how big things appear to a fly. True. The poem is written from the perspective of a fly. True. A mustard seed looks like a hill to the fly. False. A prickle looks like a spear to the fly. True. Which lines from the poem mean that small thing must appear big to a fly? How large unto the tiny fly must little things appear? Identify and write the nouns and adjectives in the poem. Nouns Fly <coughs> Nouns Fly, rosebud, feather, bed, prickle, spare, dew drop, looking glass, green, seed, coal, fire, bread, hill, wasp, leopard and lambkins. Adjectives Tiny, little, golden, smallest, fierce, lofty, cruel and bright. Identify and write the rhyming words in the poem. Add two more rhyming words for each pair. Rhyming words are appear, spare, where, there, fire, wire, wire, fire, desire, empire, leopard, shepherd, herd, herd. Read the lines and answer the question. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. What is described in this line? Write in your own word. The line describes the stars in the sky. The little stars are twinkling in the sky like a diamonds. Does the poem use any simile? Explain the simile. Yes, the poem has simile. Stars are compared to diamonds because they both shine. Write a description about a scary night. Use similes and a draw a picture for the scene. I went to my friend's birthday party. It was so much fun. I wished it never ended, but it was getting late, so I said goodbye and started walking back home. I was scared while walking down the road, which is as busy as a bee in the morning, was as quiet as a grave at night. The night was spooky. It was dark as ink. I started walking. I started walking faster and soon reached my home. Read the poem Silver and the Fly again. Describe how the two poems are similar and different. Both the poems Silver and Fly are written by the same poet, Walter de la Mare. Both the poems are descriptive. The poem Silver describe how the things look silver in moonlight night. The fly describe how little things appear big to a fly. But Silver uses personification to describe the moonlight night scene and the fly uses simile to describe how things how things appear to a fly.